Welcome, everybody. To start out, why don't you uh, describe your characters? Dennis, if you want to talk about Marcus for a bit. My character's name is Marcus Dartsbane. He is a gold dragonborn sorcerer. My father, human paladin of Bahamut, and my mother, a human cleric of Bahamut, are a wealthy noble family of Waterdeep. As a blue, Bahamut appears to them as an old man, accompanied by seven great worms, gold wor worms, polymorphed and canaries. He gifted his most devout followers with a gold dragonborn son. He told them to raise their son to be a devout follower of, of him and a, and a paladin. My parents are my parents are also members of the Order of the Gauntlet. They taught me everything they knew to prepare me for whatever plans Bahamut had for my future. But I ran away from home and became a student at Blackstaff Academy of Magic in Waterdeep. I graduated at the top of my class. Now I set off to make my own way in life to prove that I can make it on my out on my own without the help of my parents. I stand seven foot feet tall. I weigh three hundred pounds. I have the head and body of a gold dragon without the tail and wings. I have amber eyes. I wear fine clothes, a hooded cloak. My I carry a staff with an amber gem stone mounted to the top. I also carry a light crossbow and a holy symbol amulet of Bahamut hangs around my neck. My background is noble. My personality trait is my favorite once lost is lost forever. My ideals are independence. I must prove that I can handle myself without the coddling of my family. My bond is the common folk must see me as a hero of the people. And my flaw is in fact, the world does revolve around me. So, Spencer, if you'd like to talk a little bit about yours. All right. Pan Ben's life has not been great, really. Uh, dropped on an orphanage when he was still very much a baby. The only thing he really has to connect to anything that is just past the strange-looking brooch pen that kind of held his blankets together. Orphanage life was not all it's really cracked up to be in the movies. He was bullied a lot because, well, his ears are... Quite freaking pointy. It was very apparent at an early age that although he certainly wasn't a full elf and had elf blood in him, uh, this led to some rather unfair uh, judgments being made on him, including some bestowing of the nickname of Pointy Pan. So, as you can imagine, he did not have a lot of friends and preferred to stick around in the shadows or just trying to avoid being seen. So, life kind of sucked at that point. But he kind of got worse, because at age 8, he finally did something about it. He, he decided he'd had enough of that, and, you know, some guy came up to him talking about, you know, I wonder if your mother or father is the elf slut. You know, and he finally punched him in the face, he gave him a good what for. This gave certain orderlies and the excuse that they had been looking ages for, well, eight years for, and they dropped me out on the street. So, not ideal. Not great. So, first few days, sickle starving, crying, orphan, orphany business. Then, uh, a little bit of a realization happened that I'd have to start finding another way to live. Luckily enough, I wasn't the only orphan to have been dropped off from the orphanages, and I sort of joined a little band of thieves, learned a trade of how to pick pockets and steal from stands, uh, and I found that my not quite training, but survival skill of hiding in the shadows really came to fruition. From here, I became kind of ingrained in the underworkings of the city of Waterdeep, and uh, I got involved with the uh, political power moves that the city needed. If you needed something brought somewhere quietly, just hand a little gold off to an orphan and you'll get there. Or you need someone picked off a certain person's pocket, or you need to keep tabs on someone, they would come to us. Shortly, I, uh, our group was quite well-renowned, which for orphans is not great if you're trying to stay low profile. Though, after a particularly bad encounter, I was taken up by a old thief named Old Man. Don't know her, if that's a real name. She just insisted I call her Old Man. <laughs> uh, so, that was when I was 10. Uh, and then for 10 years, she has trained me languages, tactics, how to keep myself alive on the streets and make a profit. And now, uh, 
she sent me to the Zentarum uh, as a way to fulfill her debt to them and to sort of keep up a, a bit of a family tradition, as she calls it. Although I'm certainly anything but her son. I have an old, looking black cloak uh, with very worn leather armor. Everything I wear has definitely been passed down from someone else. If not old man, it's had previous owner. And I do still carry my little brooch that pins my jacket. You know, if nothing else, because it's a little bling to wear. But uh, my hood is drawn up at constantly to avoid scrutinization for his pointy ears. And uh, it's still very clear he is a young man, naive to a lot of the world outside of Waterdeep. I'll teach her to love, don't worry. Very good, very good. <laughs> Thank you. So, John, since you're jumping oh, in... No, don't I got stuff prepared, don't worry. Mathriel, if Mathriel he, were here right now, he, having heard your stories, he'd be kind of dumb bummed out, because he didn't really have that kind of thing. He didn't really have a tortured past. He was, he was called as a child as normally, a normal parent. If he had a book, it would be titled Boredom and Luck, as he just kind of... Uh, as he joined the adventuring life out of boredom, and he survived out of luck. Eventually, he he made a pact with the devil, and uh, that got him power. And uh, that it was because he was only doing this because he was bored. He wasn't willing to work hard for it. And uh, and he required someone like a a pact with a, with a monster to give him power because he wasn't going to work hard to find it himself. So uh, now he's uh, now he's just out in the world looking for something to do, more or less. Uh, he's not really after anything in particular, just um, the next thrill. Okay. And that's Mathrill. Oh, uh, Tiefling dude. Eh, kind of short. He's always got a smirk on his face. Like he, like he thinks he knows what's going on. <laughs> and uh, if he breathes in shadow and protective flesh. Yeah. Like... Like a fiendish kind of flush. Hmm. Lies over his body. Good. Good. Does he have horns? Does he have horns? Ah, yeah. uh, yes. And they go, like, right between his large, fluffy hat. Okay. <laughs> or like, rather be a sandwich with a hat. Well, I actually look like a gold dragon, so I'm a lot taller than you. <laughs> oh, most people are taller than him. He's like 5'5". Five, five. I'm seven oh, foot tall. I'm still taller than you. <laughs> He's short for medieval times, okay? Yeah. Wow. In uh, Matthew's case, that next thrill, and in Marcus's case, that next act of rebellion was joining the Zentarum. Um, yeah. Yes, they had the, this, you know, somewhat nasty reputation, but that that may or may not be true, and they pay. At least that's the word on the street. And since joining, things had been going really well, but recently you've been assigned to a, a, a new handler by the name of Henrik Kosh. <laughs> that's very similar to that. You go to the same store, I guess. So, possible. The guy who got to made this hat for me made one, and then I shot him. So I seriously doubt that. <laughs> yeah. I like this guy. I give him a wink. <laughs> All right, maggots. I found something, a job for you that I think that even you guys can do. And I think it's uh, appropriate for members of your standing. We got a request from this wizard from far off, outside of our, our sphere of influence, but, you know, we're always looking to expand. He's had a lot to say about the dire straits his town is in, not as much to say about what he can provide us in, in compensation. But enterprising gents like yourselves, I, I'm sure you can find the profit in it. I want you to talk to him, and once you uh, get in situ, make sure that you can turn a profit for the organization. There, there's a quota, but also our reputation is important. So you can't simply turn on him and, and his and leave witnesses. There's the opportunity to just clean up from the town that he's trying to protect. That's fine, as long as there are no witnesses. That's not necessarily the easiest way to go about it. That's, that's just an option. No witnesses, though. Yes. Yeah, 
Uh, never is. He, he's down the hall to the left. Have you talked to him yet? Yeah, I talked to him. And? Yeah. Apparently, there's some halflings. Half of all the fuckers <laughs> threatening <laughs> his town. And, uh, he's well, not the high shelves, though, are they? What? They're only getting the low stuff, not the high shelves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> these ones have ladders. Oh. <laughs> Thinking halflings? Halflings? Yes, they're very tasty. They're delicacy. You scare me sometimes, shiny scales. <laughs> why? Why am I seeing you guys up? Full anyway. <gasps> <laughs> Scary. Well, we should probably go talk to this man. Yeah. You do uh, that. Let's go, horny boy. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, so as I step out of Kosh's sight, I kind of look back and forth and cast an illusion on myself to look exactly like him. Exactly like him? Yeah. Okay. okay. Why am I seeing the um, full screen? Yeah, I thought it was going to just split four ways, but uh, apparently not so much. Good. Well, if you talk, you uh, actually uh, show up. <laughs> Hilarious. Let me reset that. So did we see, did I, could I see Mathriel change into a uh, hand effect there, or am I turning around and seeing a second hand effect? So were you making any attempt to uh, hide the change from uh, anyone no, other no, than No, no, no. I, I start speaking to them immediately in my own voice. What? Okay. what? What's wrong? What are you looking at? Oh, oh all right. I'm sorry. Uh, magic is... Are you all right? It's weird. Yeah, you just, you know... You seem you sick. You look like someone you, I know, horny boy. You dehydrated? <laughs> you know, I, you know, it's just magic makes me feel awfully harsh. You know, it's awful flashy. What are you trying to do here? Oh, I could dim the light down for you, if you'd like. So did I. I started making the creature start being more and more black. You know what? You know what? We can just we can just leave it as is, if that's all right with you. You know. Sure, sure. I, I snap my fingers and go back to being quashed. All right. Okay. Good. Horny boy is scary too. Love it. So, uh, uh, any real purpose to looking like Hanavec other than you like his fashion sense? Well, I think I want to see how the wizard reacts to him. So you head in, and standing alone in the room is this dwarf. But interestingly, he's not just bald, but uh, beardless. Oh. Out of character, GM. We just yes. had somebody enter. On roll 20. Dallas is here. Oh, hey. Dallas, why don't you tell us all a, a, a little bit about your character? Just to yeah, that's a refresher. Character. My character is a Ganassi. He was born through two elf parents, but when he was birthed, my character was uh, basically blessed and possessed by an elder air elemental as he was born. So his mother died giving birth. He grew up on a boat. His father died when he was 13 years old. Growing up on the boat with his father, he learned sea trade. Uh, he ended up going and being forced to live with a knight for quite a while, where he stayed there for about two to three years. And he was eventually picked up by his father's old companion, Sir Roberts, who is actually a lady, turns out. And she's really nice to him. And he ends up going around with her and learning pirating, and then he comes in one day to a uh, port with her, and that's where we are now. <coughs> she drops him off here. Alright, so this mage man. So, dwarf without a beard and, and, and also bald. A dwarf without a beard? I know. <laughs> that is a disgrace. <laughs> I think this guy's probably a berserker. should find out what's up with that. And he says, please forgive my, my intrusion at this august edifice. The town I represent is in uh, great need of your assistance. It's uh, half a continent away in uh, eastern Shar, but luckily I can help with the transportation. Oh. About a month ago, we received word that a horde of uh, nomadic halflings was returning to the valley where uh, our town Round River was built. I start laughing. Yeah. Giggling. giggling, respectfully, but still giggling. I think. Uh, 
Dinner. Scared of halflings? They're scared of halflings. Halfling, are, halflings are very similar to salmon. They always go uphill to breed. <laughs> Thank and you, they're, horny boy. And they're, and they're uh, they didn't think it'd be too much of a problem, but again, they're just halflings. So when the, the first scout arrived, my lord uh, Baron Elagoth didn't react, just decided to uh, wait and assess the situation. But a little bit more recently, the horde itself arrived near the town, and there's quite a few of them. I don't know exactly how many, but it's a lot. And so we, we tried to uh, negotiate, and uh, th things have not gone very well. And uh, we're hoping that the Zentarum might be able to uh, either uh, 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 negotiate a, a solution uh, or, you know, uh, possibly f uh, drive them off. Or just eat them all. Uh, I, I suppose. Um, oh, yeah. Or, you know, you might be able to, uh, you know, uh, arrange yeah, some sort up. of uh, ritual combat up. with, uh, you know, their champion to uh, 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 to uh, for the, the, the rights to the ground? I, I don't know. Is that, is that something that's in the, the halfling tradition? Um, well, I, I, I'm something. not... Uh, uh, no one in the town is, is incredibly familiar with uh, their traditions, but it, it, it might be. Hmm. Well, we'll figure um, it out when we get there. I mean, they're, they're, they're primitives, uh, more or less. Um, and, uh, it, you know... From what I could see, the, uh, uh, the their you know their rituals and traditions are very important to them. Um, so if they they did have uh, something like that, I, I think they'd probably abide by it. Well, let's hope it's true. Well, hard to to I have a better point. I mean, I have a better idea. idea. <laughs> this sounds great. I'm tired of eating cobalt jerky. I have a better idea. Let's just get like a bunch of really low to the ground blades and tie them to some sort of engine and just crank it and push it forward. Are you talking about some sort of death wagon? No, I'm talking more like what would what would be used to cut the grass over a large field. Are you I think I have one of those in the back. You don't look like a gnome to me. Yeah. I've got it. We'll call it a halfling mower. Very good. Like uh, we'll turn them into quarterlings. So what? <laughs> uh, so we need to go find a tinker gnome to make this device for us. That's all we've got to do. Mm, and your, and your, your device that you're bringing us to the land with, um, what is it? How, how are you covering, quote unquote, the transportation? Uh, I, I have uh, uh, some skill in the, the arcane arts, uh, uh, specifically in... in uh, Transportation. Well, if we were to design such a me mechanism, could you teleport that as well? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I, I can. Well, then the whole idea is moot. Way to go, <laughs> Marcus. <sighs> well, damn. I, I, Marcus didn't suggest this. I mean, Wait a minute. If, I thought you if were you're Marcus. serious about that, I mean, Marcus. I'm Marcus. I'm Marcus. There's a workshop in town. I'm that character. Workshop in town. I've been I've been visualizing skinning halflings and hanging them up to bleed out and curing them and turning them into shiny shiny skin shiny skin some shots right there you're scaring short round over here all right well, now, easy, the easiest solution is generally the best one let's just get in there marry their princess and be done with it <laughs> I, I the easy solution was to kill them. But okay, I like well, the princess. easiest solution is to is to get a halfling bride and laid and you know get them all to leave. That's the best situation, the easiest. What's all right? So who who's who's jumping on the halfling uh, grenade here? Course out. <laughs> Not me. No. no let's Wait, just, let's just put who about, Who votes course out? Uh, about discussing, uh, you know, who should have to do the do with. The uh, midget princess. Uh, I'm uh, Hanavex here. Uh, Wait, are we near water? 
when we're doing this? <laughs> Why would that? Would are, that are, we, are we currently... Is there currently water nearby? I, I got um, a drink. I got a like, cup if you want. No. All right. Uh, Okay, his cup has water in it. Dark hold, and it, it, it's a, a a mountainous region. Okay, but I his bring cup up has my water in. skin. Yeah, I, I bring up my water skin and offer it to you. All right. Well, I just I take it, I pop the cap, and then I bring water out of the water skin, and I start spinning it in a circle. I say I can do this on a much larger scale. So we can you're... flood them out. Thank you, booty breaker. Okay, uh, but put it back in. And that would work, but they said the beginning was real. They always go uphill to breed. So. Then we start at the top of the hill. <laughs> I'll just cook them well, really I think we talked strategy once we've assessed the situation carefully, seeing what's happening. I agree with him, whoever no. that was. Kind of the it's a little bit. Kind of bad. A thief extraordinaire. Don't call me a thief. I will cut you. <laughs> kind of bad. Here, buddy. Companion, I mean, of course. Why don't you talk to him uh, about this a bit of compensation? Because our, our work doesn't come free. It's you know high quality mercenaries uh, ish people organizations. Basically. Yeah, is this? Are you truly and truly prepared and well qualified? <laughs> he's scales, that's it. He's made of gold. At this point, I take my little water circle and I start spinning it around his head. Uh, Booty breakers yeah, okay. so in terms of compensation, uh, I mean, we're a small town. We, we don't have a, a whole lot of uh, material wealth, but uh, uh, the Baron has authorized me to offer you a portion of any surplus the, the town town's budget sees for as long as he rules the Barony, if, if you can resolve it. Hmm. A permanent tax. And that would like to that one. Would he be willing to offer me a hand? I'm sure we'll all get lordships out of this. Maybe we should get a move on. Yeah. I said we go and see what's what. Yeah. All right. I'm, 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 I'm not sure that's okay with the Baron, but uh, I I don't think that offering you uh, uh, a plot of land each would, would be a problem. I could definitely use some land. Uh, one little house. Uh, one little house. house. I just want him to. I just want a halfling butcher shop. That's all I want. You are a sick, twisted man, and I love your shiny scales. You do realize the, how fatty that halfling meat is, correct? It is a delicacy of my kind. Very well. <laughs> I've never liked short people. Dwarves I'm are okay. Tired. They're not too bad. I'm getting tired of eating kobold jerky. You like a lot Would you like a bite? You know, I ate on the way here, and I also kind of swore off eating dead things that are made of dragon bits. Bald, beardless dwarf, where is your teleporter? Um, well, uh, if, 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 if you guys are, are serious about this and willing to help, um, we can yeah. go right now. Well, it's away. either this or do nothing for the next couple of days. Hey, okay. I'm definitely bored. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, what whispers said. So, uh, uh, so I, mm, sorry, I don't mean he, to be too quiet. His name is it's all right. Like it's all right, whispers. A clever, clever play on words. You get it right, horny boy. Uh, my character's voice echoes, so I'm trying to like mimic it that a bit by whispering, and it sounds like wind. So. And if you keep calling me horny boy, I'm going to turn into a giant... I'm going to transform Ooh. myself into a giant erect penis. <laughs> one more time. You, that, you'll, you'll be the one adventuring with me, not the other way around. It's tempting. I can it's do it. It's really tempting. Call me horny boy one more time. Do it. I think you need to cool down a bit, I say, as I just take the water and I push it against his forehead. Just wiggle it there for a minute. Gentlemen, please... Please. So uh, yes, the uh, oh, the dwarf uh, takes out some chalks and and draws a circle, um, uh, as well as uh, you know, uh, well, okay, a, a magical circle, not just like a, a circle, circle, but like a, a full uh, uh, inscribed, uh, uh, ornate. Uh, uh, Casting circle, 
uh, and once he's done, he uh, holds out his hands to uh, for you to join him, and he intones uh, uh, various uh, uh, occult words, and uh, uh, in a flash, you find yourself... Uh, he speaks draconic, uh, in other words. I understood him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's actually not draconic. It's, you know... Uh, uh, you know, a, a magical language derived from his, his dwarven ancestors. Um, uh, yes. He's talking to the rocks, don't bother him. Yeah. <laughs> hacking the universe. That's why he had to draw his circle on the rocks. Duh. Not because it was the floor. <laughs> Lord help us. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you find yourself... Uh, uh, transported uh, to a uh, 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 smallish town, um, and uh, you know all around, all around it you can see uh, 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 sort of grassy plains. Um, before you is a uh, uh, is an inn. Uh, actually, let me. Let me uh, pull up a map. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is just this is the center of town. All right. Let me just go go out a little bit. See it. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the the dwarf Oxidus continues. Uh, obviously, uh, time is, uh, is of the essence. We have only uh, some uh, five or six days before the, the high chief of the halflings' uh, patience expires. Um, I, I would recommend that you uh, speak with my fellow town leaders uh, before journeying to the the horde's camp. Um, they they may be able to give you a a, a more complete picture of uh, of what's transpired. Uh, uh, you can find uh, uh, the Baron in uh, uh, his his manor, which is uh, uh, to your left, uh, as well as uh, Watch Captain uh, Bryn, uh, and then uh, the. Uh, uh, Abbey behind us uh, is where you can find uh, Abbey's fourth Forsyth. Do we get tokens uh, on this map? No. Nah. Okay. Um, you can. I mean, uh, it, it, unless you're planning on, uh, you know, suddenly uh, uh, lashing out of the townsfolk, there, there, there probably isn't a need. Um, yep, that's exactly my plan. Okay. Uh, no. So roll initiative or what? <laughs> um, I mean, you can do that if you want. Uh, no, that, that was a joke. I'm yeah. definitely not going to just randomly attack the townsfolk. Yeah. I'm chaotic, not evil. Okay. I'm chaotic neutral. So you're just as likely to attack it as you are to heal it. <clears throat> well, our party's growing again. Consider Jack Sparrow chaotic mm -hmm. neutral. I'm all there with you, brother. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I just got the invite like 20 minutes ago. Sorry. I don't know. Damn it! What character are you playing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I uh, I have you a. You don't have a healer. You need to talk. Let him talk. He's about to give him a character. Okay. Go. Uh, so. Let me see. First off, uh, well, you can hear us. That, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I can hear you just fine. I've been here for about ten minutes now, just listening. Oh, okay. She's a good <laughs> listener, ladies. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt you girls uh, talking about horny uh, boys. This place is too far from water. I don't like it. Easy there, like, fish boy. concept that I introduced originally was a, a Goliath monk, but I'm just listening. Like I said, I was doing some paperwork, and uh, I looked at my roll 20, and I got 
an invite, so here I am. Good. Do you have a character you can import from another campaign to speed up your character sheet making process? Uh, I can make a character sheet in my sleep. Oh, we got a pre-made one for you. You got a pre-made for me? Yeah. Yes. You want to give him the cleric? Uh, I'll do a cleric, but yeah. I was like hoping to play a monk. I've never played one before. I'm a monk. You've already got a monk. You're a monk? Yeah. Ah, gotcha. We should all play monks. <laughs> <laughs> all monks is a is a viable team build as long as at least three of them are uh, way of the open hand. One of them like, goes kind of monk uh, way of the elements, and the other kind of goes of shadow. Uh, I'm an what kind of uh, cleric is it? Oh, okay, so. Yeah, I, I, I did have a, a pre-gen fighter, but uh, I guess you could uh, take over the uh, uh, the cleric that somebody else made, uh, or if if your monk is already uh, is finished, then well, uh, how about this? We, we don't board. have a cleric. What what else don't you have? We don't have a bard right now. We don't <laughs> we don't have any type of healer whatsoever. We yeah. need someone who can take hits, okay? We have a calls of personality already. We just need a stone wall. You need a stone wall. More or less. We need, we need a tank. Be a that knight. Oh. We need a tank that can heal. Paladin. Yeah. Uh, so I, was, I was deterred from being a paladin. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, cleric. Be a cleric. They're good. They can tank and heal. No, oh, no, don't worry. I know how to play. I will import we'll a character need a then. We actually in our party. Oh. I mean, if you need a quick breakdown, you got gold shiny scales, the draconian sorcerer, uh, doom and gloom, formerly horny boy, uh, tiefling warlock, <laughs> uh, fish boy over here, your water monk. Air. I'm an air again, Cy. Uh, well, you're still fish boy, so. Yeah, I, I, I grew up on a boat. I am fish boy. I, I I'm the I'm the dragon boy. <laughs> All right. Shiny guy. Uh, shiny guy. Gold dragon. Dragonborn. All right. Sorcerer. Okay. So Elliot, you should be able I'm to look at both uh, uh, at Alaska and uh, Abernell. Hold on. I need two. Wait. This is D and D five E, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. No playing a summoner. Uh, all right. I'm going to import a character because he already has all the the cleric spells already in the spell book. But if you don't mind, I'll actually input all the info, and I'm going to make a Goliath cleric. There we go. All right. That worked. Huge fish. Goliath okay. cleric. That's balling. Yeah. That's huge. It's like, oh, I'm going to smash you by healing you to death. You're going to feel so good when we're done here. <laughs> How tall is the Goliath? Be walking around and maybe even skipping and jumping for days. So how tall what is the Goliath? Uh, well, they say it's, tw- uh, it's between 7 and 8 feet with the... Seven foot five. Oh, you're five inches taller than I am. I'm seven foot tall. <laughs> oh, shiny scales don't cool. like that. I like it all right. I, I'm not the tallest person in this party anymore. I'm good. <laughs> I think we should talk that, uh, talk that noble. <laughs> yeah, How tall is everyone in the party? I need to just kind of get a height reference. Fish boy is, uh, Fish boy's five foot eight. All right, I'm yeah, taller yeah. than you. Barely. I'm five eleven. Uh, if you give me a permission uh, to import, then I'll import a character. So you got two tall guys and a bunch of short. Oh, okay. Um, we're not short. <laughs> we're compacted. Uh, don't worry. If if I had my way, I would be playing either a Goliath monk or a gnome wizard. Yeah. Well, that was really short. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need. We actually need a gnome, but it has to be one of the tinkery kinds that can make a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. 
just do it. <laughs> oh god, boy. So we agreed it was a halfling moment. Or a quarter maker. Wait, so who's the shortest in the party? Uh, uh Mathriel. Mathriel, and what race are you? Uh, Tiefling. Wait, you're short of him and you're a Tiefling? Can't you be yeah. like six foot? Yeah, but not all Tieflings are tall. Oh, okay. so you're like, what, five foot something? Five. Five, five. Okay, so I'm only a couple inches taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably a whole lot heavier than I am. Because I'm not a really thing. Well, I could make a gnome barbarian around this. Am, this I the only, am I the only noble born in the party? Uh, I was born through pirates, but I believe myself to be a demigod, so it's all good. <laughs> so you have all the same bug up your butt as Marcus does, only without all the uh, valid social you know, norms. That, yeah, yeah, I have all the same bug up my butt, that's for sure. You sit on two demigods, an average Joe and Hawaii. Oh. I have an elder air, air elemental trapped inside my skin, so it's all good. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, uh, the DM wants to do my phone. I haven't just come out. How do I set like permission to uh, uh, import a character? Uh, oh, you go to the, the main the main page for your campaign, and then go to settings. And when you go to the settings page, there's a, should be a drop down, like the third the third choice down. Allow imports. Okay. Um. So first, boy, if I if I cast summon air element, will you be hey. one to show up? I know what we call the fish boy. If you cast it on my body, it's likely you could pull him out. Now he is completely like dormant, but oh, okay. as far as my story goes, I do have a dormant elder air elemental hiding within my body. Oh right. So, boy, do we have a little bit of town. Maybe you two go oh. off in some faraway hill, and you can pull out all the evil spirits from each other you want. Hmm. It's not evil. It's <laughs> not. No, I'm sorry. I spoke it. <laughs> evil is a uh, rough word. Uh, can you please stop telling the party members to start pulling on each other? Yeah. Well, I, I always cast, I always get the spell cast, summon demon just to get the one out of the, of the other guy. There we go. I can but literally I, just caught, cast banishment on him and then he'll have to stay in the plane he came from. And I will not be there for any of this because it sounds terrible. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, I'm I'm wanting to go eat these. Uh, I, I'm wanting to go cook up and eat these uh, half ones we're going after. I'm, I'm First, ready. we have to talk to the Lord. <laughs> okay, try now. Eat these half. So, hold on, my character stats are that he is his gender is written as a tack helicopter. His age go. is 24. He is okay, five foot six. Done. He weighs 86 pounds. Your age should be well. <laughs> Hey, I'm only 20 years old. All My right. character's 24. He weighs 86 pounds. Are we doing point point boy or white eyes? What? Medium. Uh, size. Point boy, point by, or you can roll. Uh, is point what's the roll? 461. Yeah, four, 46 best three. Just a pretend you got 18. That's what I do. Two, three, four, five. Six. But seriously, I can cast Banishment on you, and it will make the, the guy stay away forever. I don't want him. He's blessing me currently. He's what makes me into a Ganassi, which makes me powerful. You realize that he's essentially having sex with you constantly. Yes, and it feels amazing. I only weigh 86 pounds because of it, and I have all the full power of like someone like way heavier. As long as you're aware. As All right, can I get permission to Denger Sheet? Yeah, this is my uh, my war domain cleric in another game. Oh, oh yeah, war domain cleric. Well, you'll make a good tank being that. Uh, I was planning on being temp uh, uh, Tempest domain. Actually, the life domain cleric is awesome when it comes to healing. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Oh my god. They get an extra plus think. I don't... three to heal. Ugh. 
I remember I rolled the stats for this guy and he rolled pretty well. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have a 20 strength at least. Check out making sure. Oh yeah, you gave us magic items, didn't you? Yeah, one, each one of us gets one. And it was uncommon or below, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, it, it's uh, one item, but it has uh, can have uh, two properties: uh, one rare property, one uh, uncommon. Uh, again, you have to uh, run it by me. Uh, run by me uh, what the properties are. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't just like, because I remember you gave us, and I only picked one. I picked a decanter of endless water. Oh yes. Yeah. So that's okay for me to have, and then I get a rare property one. No, I bet you got one with two properties. Uh. uh one of, one yes. Of oh, actually, I, I thought one of them was the uh, uh, boots of speed. Oh yeah. yeah, you gave me boots of speed. Oh yeah, wait, no, that, that's on page three. Never mind, I've got it right here. So I could have picked a second item. And I didn't? Yeah. Um, well, you can do so now, or you can, uh, you know, we Give can me a, uh, a, develop well, it uh, later on. A cloak and a bag of holding. <laughs> That's the only two things I would want. The cloak I got and a bag of holding. <laughs> so the, the cloak just has really deep pockets. Oh, really? It's like way in there. Whoa. A close-up situation with deep pockets. Get your full arm up in there. What? Interesting. Mm, so we get a magic item, too. Yeah, because yeah, we're starting at such high level. He gave us magic yeah, items. So. Hmm? Well... Hmm. That, means, that means you got a choice between taking the at fourth level you you character would get the uh, ability score increase and at eighth level, or you can create the piece. I thought we wait. What level did you say we're starting at? Eight. 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 Yeah. See, we're starting at such a high level, and I believe at this level. So, do I have all my spells, or do I have? Oh yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three three points in monk class, and I'm going to take three points in a separate monk class. What? <laughs> <laughs> They're both going to be monk. I'm just getting my my uh, choosing my uh, tier, so that I get we have the open hand and way of uh, elemental fist. Yeah, I still fear I'd do that. Um, I don't know if you can do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. Okay. That was 100% a joke. That's like being a war clerk and a life clerk at the same time. <laughs> you can have two gods. Two gods? Mm. My, my character's deity is Bahamut, the platinum dragon. <clears throat> I thought you were made of gold. What are you talking about? I am a gold dragonborn. Hey, Why are you trying to selling yourself? Alright guys, come on. I, 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 wait, who is the DM exactly? Uh, that's me. Uh, Bar, so, Brad. yeah, shall we refocus and uh, uh, and move on while uh, Elliot uh, works on his character? Yeah, sure, we need yeah. to pull together and come up with a plan, eh? I also need permission from my character sheet so I can work on it. Oh. Mm. Matt real thinks it would be a good idea if we go and talk to the Lord so I can know what he looks like. No reason. Yeah, I say anyone who doesn't look like a normal human being, you know, doesn't look like straight human, should probably go and talk to the there Lord right now. I can head oh, to an inn. That, that's happen. a good call. Um, I make Hi. myself look exactly like Panda. I'm a noble man. Oh, well, now we're twins. It's kind of cute and all doom and gloom, but... Okay, try now, Elliot. Okay, so, uh, uh... I'm a nobleman, I can go talk to him. Yeah. There you oh, go. Good call. I make myself look like Corsair. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I, no, I don't. Uh, Citizen of the Dwarven Mage uh, suggested uh, that you talk to uh, the the other leaders of the town, mm-hmm. um, which would be the uh, the Baron, the Watch Captain, uh, and the Abbess. I'll take the uh, Baron. I don't want to talk to the Watch Captain. Ah, he and I will not get along well. <laughs> I can, you know, I can feel it in my everything. Mm-hmm. So I'll head to the Baron as well. Right. I'm gonna follow to the Baron, even though I don't look like a normal person, because no, I don't know what. The Baron, I don't, you want to scare the Watch Captain? Uh, maybe, maybe do Actually, go talk to the Watch. I'm just gonna fly up into the air, start looking around from way up in the air, see if I can see the direction all those halflings were in. Okay. Castle of Tate on itself in flying. Okay. Hmm. Um, so uh, a lot, a lot of the uh, townsfolk, uh, you know, are pretty surprised and you know are just kind of stare. But uh, once you get uh, about uh, 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 about two hundred feet up, uh. Mm. uh the uh, sort of camped uh, uh, that uh, camped at a rise, uh, the the halfling horde, and it it seems to go on forever. I mean, when uh, the uh, when Oxidus said that there was a lot of them, he he was, he was a lot, a lot. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, he he was not uh, like overestimating out of fear. The uh, I mean, uh, it, they they seem to go on you know onto the horizon. There there's probably thousands. Oh boy! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and land. Okay. Don't tell the dragon this. And I'm gonna lose my. Uh, just gonna go ahead and let my levitate go once I'm on the ground. Okay. And then I'm gonna short rest. All right. So you. Uh, so uh, the, a, a couple of you went in to uh, uh, see the Baron. Indeed. Yep. I did. Uh, let me. Uh, Uh, so you should be able to uh, pull up his picture. Um, hmm. uh, you want to just show him the players? Uh, yes. There we go. Oh, oh, the board, yeah. like, huh? Hello, blue eyes. Nice. Mm. <laughs> look at those lobes. Yeah, you you look at those lobes, especially. Um, oh yeah, sure. His eyes are great too. Whatever. Okay, so I'm the guy being ear man. And he says, "Welcome, welcome to uh, Round River." Uh, uh, Oxus was uh, in search of uh, aid for the town. I, I assume you're it. Yes, sir. That's us. You have found us. I, Corsail, the Dragonborn of the of the uh, Gold Dragon Flight, lead us. Uh, that's the water but yeah. 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 Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and walk in behind everyone and just so, be like, uh, holy shit, that's a lot of them. Uh, what, what would you uh, like to know about the situation? It's, uh, I, uh, I, I, I thought that we could just, you know, wait and they, they'd move on, but uh, I don't think that's the case. They, Have you uh, tried contacting ask the leaders yet? Ask kill all of them. Uh, we, fool. we did try uh, negotiating with them. What did uh, you offer? Uh, well, uh, when we uh, offered uh, uh, money, they, they, they seemed to close down, and uh, 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 it wasn't long after that that they... Uh, 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 Forced us to leave the camp. 
I mean, well, they are savages. What would they have need for wampum? Um, real question. More of a, more of a really inquiry. Um, are you you live alone here in this castle or this this keep? Um, I have uh, you know a number of men uh, under my command. Of course, of course. I mean, so, so it's just you many and your soldiers. Are talking. I, I, I'm not married. You're not married? Oh, interesting. I was just, I wasn't asking for that, but, um, but that's 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 cool to know. That's kind of just throwing your business in my face. Um, well, but, uh, what did you mean by do I live alone? No, no, it, 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 it doesn't matter. I I core sale, uh, will continue. By saying, uh, <laughs> you know, I walked in behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're being you're boy. Don't worry about uh, it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but uh, what we I should do is, I'm uh, standing behind you this whole time. Goal's not going to work. Uh, are, are, is it all right if we uh, declare war on them? Like, how many? You know, will we do you realize you're asking the questions I want to uh, ask? Great. Right? Yes. Uh, I'm, yes, I'm asking I, the questions I think for you. That, yeah. uh, um, that that may be the the, the path to take. The uh, hmm. the they have uh, no right to this town. I was uh, uh, the, 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 it was granted to me by ro- lawful authority, and uh, I, I would be uh, most obliged if, if, if you could uh, drive them off. Ask him if he can give away the title to the back you up. I was speaking to your squire, a certain dwarf who had no hair or beard, and uh, he was saying that we if we were to successfully do this task, would uh, be able to receive taxes from you. Is this true? Uh, yes, yes. That, uh, I, I, could, uh, uh, I, I could give you a, a portion of uh, any profit the town uh, showed uh, on an ongoing basis. Excellent. Now, uh, of course you realize we would uh, uh, require... We would require also not only taxes, but a portion of land equal to the value of only a few thousand gold. Just a few hectares, honestly. Oh. Uh, Tell him I want his castle. No, well, we really as long as it doesn't have to be... Uh, as long I'm as it isn't right uh, part to of the town. Yeah, of course. You know, part of the, the center of town, if it's uh, uh, on the outskirts, that, that would be no problem. Mm, excellent, excellent. Um, your castle. How long has has it been in your family line? Oh, we we've uh, 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 only been here for about uh, five years. Interesting, interesting. So you're not really attached to this. So you're not really attached to this, are you? No, this is our home. Oh, oh no! <laughs> but, but, but when you say our, you mean yours, because you're the only one who lives here. <laughs> No, there, there, there's a whole town here. Oh, of course, but but if the castle itself was only yours, right? That's that's yeah. what I'm Well, to I, say it's here. not a full castle. It's it's like it's a manor. <laughs> okay. Okay. It, I, I, <laughs> just like the first that. floor uh, um, is actually made out of stone. The rest is the rest is wood. Um, yeah, I'm just know. gonna stop stop everything dead. I'm gonna look him straight in the eye, and I'm gonna say, "Are you willing to do anything?" And I mean anything to stop this horde. We want his manner. Yeah, I want anything within reason. Good. Now, now, my version of reason is going to be different than your version of reason. Now I'm going to come back here soon with the solution, and you better be prepared to make some sacrifices to make this work, okay? Um, I'm, I want to hear a yes from you. I'm here to solve your problem, not the other way around. <laughs> uh, we're willing to kill him, so... What sort of are willing to kill him? Well, I have about 14 ideas at the moment, and I really have no time to run through them with you, especially explaining them slowly in detail. But, uh, but they mostly involve long-term terrible things. Anyways, we're going to go solve your problems now for your taxes. Um, you want to whisper anything left in my ear? Um, uh, <laughs> I, no, at this point, I'm just gonna. At this point, I'm just gonna pull my hair. Well, I, I'm sure that whatever, uh, uh, whatever accommodation you you, you come to, uh, we can uh, try and work with. I say uh, excellent. I then itch my crotch and burp, 
and say uh, core sale out and walk out the door. <laughs> what is what um, what's in the way? Uh, as you're walking away, it, it, it occurs to you uh, that uh, the Zentarum might actually not be uh, not be satisfied with the, this uh, ongoing tax situation. They, they they will probably want something more immediate. Oh yeah, sure. So that's it's called land and treasury. We'll just raid them after. Yeah. Um, honestly, honestly, I'll okay. just kill him, replace him, and uh, take everything, and then leave. That, 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 that could be an option. Um, As he walks out, out looking looking at me, that, I'm going to throw back my hood. I'm going to throw back my hood. I'm going to scratch my balls, burp, and say, Core Sail out. That's all I have. Is it like an echo? <laughs> exactly like an echo. Uh, poor Core Sail. His, his eyes wide. What are you talking about? I'm loving this. I'm laughing the whole time. <laughs> was, is there, was there anything like outstanding in his office? Like, light, uh, and grabbable. Well, uh, he, uh, there, there's a a, a few uh, like uh, knickknacks of, of like uh, uh, bone and ivory, um, and and some uh, and silverware. Uh, like actually made out of silver, um, but uh, nothing, nothing extremely valuable. All right, I'll take note of it and follow suit. Not yeah. saying Corsair out. <laughs> Just kind of <laughs> okay. nodding my head. Um, I make a minor illusion that sounds like he said Corsair out. Okay. <laughs> now you have to say it so we know what it sounds it sounds like because it did Corsair happen. Corsair out. <laughs> you said in like a funny accent. Well, of course I do. <laughs> I love being a trickster. <laughs> I love you being a trickster. <laughs> uh, so when I, when I walk out want... and see him, I'm just going to high-five him and say best friends. Uh, I mage hand high-five you. <laughs> That's what I can... uh, well, You were saying something, buddy. Go ahead. Uh, so uh, do you guys want to interview... Uh... The uh, like the the watch captain and the abbess, or do you want to uh, head on to the uh, the half one camp? Uh, uh, I, I know where the camp is. I tell everyone where it is and about how big it was. It um, might be a good idea to talk to them just to figure out what they've done so far. I don't want to walk over there and hear that we've been attacking them for like a week, like burning their bodies. Okay. That would be bad. To, that would be bad to learn on the spot and have to improvise. So we should talk. I'm to sure most of our minions will be good. As I've said before, I don't want to talk to the watch captain, so you can handle that bit. Okay. Um, I don't know what you're with that. If I have to, I'll, I'll go talk to a priest. Mm. Mm. First time in a while. What? Who's saying this again? Panben. Hi. Lovable oh. Rogue. Lovable Rogue. Cool. I look like Panben, and then I start going towards the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a shout. I dislike you very strongly, Doom and Gloom. I'm about five seconds from calling you the other nickname. <laughs> Damn, uh, uh, giant inflatable wiener with your page on, with your face on it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, who's coming with me? I'm following the mimic. Cool. Uh, um, so we're doing that, but somebody's talking to someone else. Yeah, wait. Where, where's uh, shiny skills? Well, uh, I mean, Marcus, where do you want to go? Hey, me? I'm, I'm just wanting to go out there and get me some happening. Oh. I well, could you, could you, would you mind tagging along uh, to the priest with me? I mean, it, oh, yeah, I think it always I'm helps to have a, a big dragon back with you when you talk with the religious authorities. Yeah, all right. I'll go over to the buddy. Okay. So, uh, Abbott or Watch Captain? First. Abbas. Okay. All right. All right. All righty. There she is. All right. Uh, oh. So, uh... Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. He's just a balloon. Uh-oh. <laughs> he looks like a paladin. Hey, you can four my size. Doom and Gloom is the only one who gets to go for that. <laughs> he's horny. <laughs> he's oh, like, uh, DM, real quick question. 
Okay. So uh, who all was going in, and uh, what did you decide to look like? Oh, no, no. That, that, that's not a concern right now. Uh, Panven and uh, Marcus, right? Yes. All right. So I opened the door. I would like to go in first, open the door, like, just slightly so I can walk in. So he'll have to bust, kind of really knock it open. Ha, 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 All right, I, I, I can't have to. I put the door open all the way. I walk right in. Good. Hello there. I don't bust the door down or anything. Hello. You, you uh, must be the aid that uh, Oxus was seeking. We of are part of that. Uh, uh, we'll call them all or a group for now. Yeah, well, we are there. Uh, we have been told by a certain uh, beardless dwarf. Strange to see your eyes these days, aren't it? Uh, but, you know, that you could offer yourself some assistance, if not information. You know, we're just trying to help you, help us to help you. Of course. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll do anything I can. Uh, I, I, I actually haven't... Uh, uh, I haven't met with the the, the halflings uh, myself. Uh, I, uh, you know, such savages. I, I, I uh, uh, you know, I, I have a, uh, a religious faith to to maintain here. Uh, well, of course. But uh, if, if there's anything I can do, I, I'd be happy to. Anything in long lines of healing. Along the lines of what? In the long line of healing potions, or some a scroll of healing, or something to take with us into battle, if we have to go into battle. Uh, well, uh, I, I couldn't do that from a distance, but uh, if the if it comes down to it, I I, I would. Uh, be uh, you know happy to uh, assist in, in healing while uh, you know in, in battle while uh, repelling these savages. Okay. So there's no we're repelling. We're going to be assaulting. Well, we haven't come to that decision yet. What do you know about them besides being short and ill-tempered? Hmm. Uh. Well, uh, I. I, I Again, I, I, I didn't speak with them uh, directly. Um, Have you actually seen one? But, um, I, I saw the, the their scout. Oh, so they have been scouting. Mm. Yes, the, there was a, a, a scout who arrived uh, several weeks before the uh, the rest of the horde. Mm. So what could you get a sense? Was does he carry weapons or I don't know? Could you discern any sort of motive? Was he well? Uh, he he rode into town on on uh, this uh, on a dog, uh, and uh, he was okay. carrying a spear. Um, Lossy. I I don't know if that's the you know if so that's how they're they're all armed or not. <clears throat> All right, so they're obviously not here to shake hands and have a dance. Uh, so you say you could help us in the fight. All right, we may need to come for you that later, but for now, we appreciate your assistance. Show any skills you got? Anything else you want to add here, or you're just gonna keep standing out there looking pretty? I uh, just gonna stand here and look pretty. <laughs> I'm All right, very good at looking pretty. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, I would also, is there anything really worth stealing in the church? <laughs> are you asking that in character? Or Not you... in character. This is me noticing, trying to see. Uh, yeah, um, no, I ask, what's worth stealing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, on the altar, there, there's, uh, you know, uh, uh, a holy symbol to the paylor that's uh, um, you know uh, either made of gold or uh, gold plated. Do not take the symbol of paylor. <laughs> <laughs> if it's solid gold, then it, then it's probably worth uh, 
uh, at least a, a couple hundred gold pieces. Mm. Right. Ask for it as maybe they'll give it to you as a gift later. But don't just take from Paylor. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no good idea. What could go wrong? I'll be playing the Bahamas to come rescue us. <laughs> well, all right then. If there's if that's about it, I'll nod and go out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, onto the halflings, or do you want to talk to the watch captain? Uh, I believe it was Panben we and uh, Corsail who talked to him. Well, yeah, yeah but the guy he looks like Panben. I he looks like Panben. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Will you say some? I will speak very coarsely of him. Like, that's a shame. That's too bad, eh? Just, just go and have your conversation. <laughs> uh, so I go up to the um, to this man, uh, jet, looking exactly like Panben. Okay. Uh, turns out uh, he is a she. Oh, oh. Yeah, that one's a lot better than what I was uh, expecting. Yes. Dibs. Okay, let's see. Do you want to say that out loud? No. Uh, actually, yeah, I walk up and go, hmm, you're a lot better than what I was expecting. I I was expecting someone better looking. <laughs> he says his pan down. Actually, actually, elves are very fine looking. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. I look she, pretty much like says, a blue uh, elf. And you I have a name that's someone less rude. Hi, well, you got pan bun. Sorry about that. You don't get a reputation as a thief and murderer and rogue like I do without uh, being rude every now and then. And you wouldn't believe the bounty, the list of bounties on me. Thirty thousand gold if you can capture me alive. Sixty thousand dead. <laughs> I am going to turn you in for that, you dirty bastard. And I can't go. I've been charged by the uh, by the by the Baron to uh, to go out there and take care of the mess. So I need to come to you first. What do you say? What do you know about these uh, heavens? <laughs> I speak uh, up. Don't have a day. Well, there, there's uh, there's quite a few of them. Aye. Uh, and <laughs> quite a few. I've seen their whole army. <laughs> yeah, so you have you have any experience with that? You've been they, here much longer. Um, they 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 were actually uh, for a, 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 a horde of savages intent on uh, destroying the town. Rather uh, polite. Um, strangely enough. Uh, oh, so they come in here and give you a kiss? No, just the uh, the you know they they offer just uh, food and drink and uh, 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 you know uh, you know asked us. I suppose it was nicely to leave, but you know we can't leave, of course. The, uh, Obviously. Okay, no, wait, when he says that, oh. when he says if they come up and it would I'd be like, yeah, I'm sure your husband wouldn't appreciate a half-elf coming up and trying something like that, would he? I imagine your lover would have issues with this. <laughs> uh, uh, First off, it's it, very it, well hidden here. My, so. my lover uh, <laughs> might indeed, and she uh, pats her sword. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we can take the last one, eh? Oh, uh, one thing you uh, uh, noticed, and I, I should have mentioned it uh, immediately, is that the uh, armor she's wearing uh, looks valuable. Is it boot plate? Uh, let me, oh. So that's oh, not boot plate. I think it's the yeah. dragon scale. <laughs> you were saying they were kind. What do you mean by that? It looks like Elvin came to me. I'm uh, yeah. What yeah. language do they speak? Uh, they had some common. Do right. <laughs> you know if, uh, what kind of ranks they have? What kind of what? Ranks. Oh, I'm speaking ranks? common here. <laughs> this is how Panvent speaks, right? Yeah, yeah, I got that. <laughs> Good. Just making sure. He's from Waterdeep. He's been raised on the streets. He's got a whole mix of languages he can close to life. He's good. Good team. But 
I, it's a note. I will kill you. Not if you have this girl trying to kill you. Perhaps. Hey, quit metagaming. You don't know anything he's saying. You know, know nothing. Know. <laughs> okay, it, it is indeed dragon scale armor. Um, okay. Oh, oh good thing the dragon armor. Yeah. Do you mean how many are... are uh... No, uh, do, they, do they have a social order? Uh, yes, yes, they, uh, uh, they did have a, a single leader, and, uh, yeah. uh, I, I'm oh. not sure how they are organized below that, though. Uh, I believe her name was, uh, uh, Alice. I, yes. So, let's see what we can do with that. All right, I'm going to ask her how she feels about killing them. If they, uh, I'm going to ask her if you. Do you think if we get in a fight with them, we'll have to fight to kill, or would just incapacitating their entire number work? Well, uh, certainly, if you can uh, drive them off, that would be uh, uh, wonderful. Uh, you know, we 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 bear them no no malice, just but uh, you know. This town is ours. Uh, so, but I, I, you know, there, there's so many. By the time you, uh, you know, knocked out one group, the uh, another would be uh, that have woken back up again. All right. So I'm gonna tell her, don't worry, I got you, and I'm just gonna walk away. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and Pat Ben's gonna finish off. By saying, if you want to know what it feels like to have a thirty thousand dollar, thirty thousand gold hilt, he grabs his crotch, says, "Just come find me later, Tuts," and he winks at her. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Uh, then he now yells at Godlight and says, "I love stealing," and runs off. Good okay. luck. As soon as I get outside, I'm going to activate my boots of speed, and I'm going to rush to the middle of their camp, provoking no opportunity attacks, because I have mobility feet. And I'm oh, doing this at 37, 37.5 miles per hour. I'm not okay. sure what you're doing here. Are you trying to <laughs> but, run to Well, their camp, their camp is, a, a, is a fair distance off. Yeah, let's hold up I here. Run, oh, I can run 37.5 miles per hour. Okay. Well, Are you trying to run to their so fast? So, you're zipping off towards their camp? Yep. Okay. I want to see how. I would like to see him flush myself. And say, hey, hey, good looking. How are you doing? No, but not to the captain. I haven't seen her. I'm, I'm seeing my. Uh, I'm seeing Doom and Gloom over here. Oh, uh, Doomsayer, and um, I, I give him a wink and I say, uh, "Not bad. How are you? Hey, I'm uh, not too bad. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm not, you know, just talk to the uh, priest. Seems like a nice old, nice lady. Uh, oh yeah. I just saw the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the captain, putting a good word for you. Oh, really? Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm not sure uh, what good word could mean between a thief and a I would Let's just say she's a lucker. If she comes, if she starts approaching you, believe me, it's going to be for one of the handshakes that comes in. Really? Oh, right. well, that's that's new. I haven't had that before. Me and all authorities are usually in a different kind of relationship. <laughs> okay, well, while I'm heading out there, I'm just going to blast by them and yell dibs. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to snap my fingers and transform back into myself so I can not be attacked when someone sees Pen Pen. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so um, I have a plan. Um, I'm going to transform into the Lord. We're going to go out there, parlay with the Halfling Chief, and I'm going to sell my hand to his dead daughter. That could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? You're going to sell your what? To, what to I'm, who? I'm going to sell the Lord's hand to his daughter, to the daughter of the halfling. Oh, chief. No. Uh, well, I do love that. Worth a try? That, that is fantastic. I also think it might be worth scoping out this cow just a bit. Because fish boy over there is gonna burn him, and he's gonna get his ass caught or killed. I'm, I'm not concerned, but it could provoke something. Not happy to see that happen. Actually, oh, just really, I'm really not worried about it. Really I know my plan. plan. 
Yeah. I don't want to yeah. cook one. You can literally fly, so that's not really scary to me. I, I can still think it's worth having a I just want to roar at him. And then cook one. Okay, so is everybody else uh, uh, heading after the, the monk, or uh, are you going to wait and see what happens? I, I think we're going after him in a very calm manner. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. I don't want to head into the camp, though. I'm going to stay on the outside till it's dark and just sure, kind sure. of gather information. But I, I do snap my fingers and turn into the Lord. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Corsail, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you uh, get to the, uh, the outer edges of the camp, uh, yeah, and there's a, a, a couple of uh, halflings on, on guard. Uh, uh, and uh, I mean, are you uh, trying to I'm just? Uh, I'm gonna stop at the outer edge of the camp, turn off my boots, and wait. Okay. I was just getting there fast. Actually, I'm gonna make sure to stay a decent distance away and just keep a look around and see if I can figure anything out until I get there. Uh, they say, uh, Mostly Hale. the shape of their mob. Okay. Hail, uh, knows that all visitors and you no harm are welcome amongst the Broadbelt Horde. Uh, uh, be you friend or foe of the Horde? Um, I say, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm definitely a friend. I'm bringing you some drinks. And I yell this from my distance. You're trying to drown them all, aren't you? I might be. I might have to use dirt and less water on Geyser. <laughs> I was wanting to bring fire on him. Yeah, save the fun for us. Yeah. Um, what brings I'm you to us? I brought drinks. I'm going to say and I'm going to pop open my decanter of endless water. I'm going to yell the command word for Geyser. And I'm just going to run into them with my boots boots active. And I'm just going to start like shooting water everywhere. Throw it into them and then keep running. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So, um, you know, they're... they're uh, okay, I whisper that they can't turn endless water's command word, so they can't turn it off. They don't know it. Okay. Well, are, are you, you're not leaving it there. You're taking it with you, right? Huh? Oh, no. I'm going to throw it out in the middle of them. It's on geyser mode. That thing's butt gushing out 30 gallons per, uh, per round. Okay. Oh, my god. That, that's after dragging it through, like, about... Okay, let's see. How long did I run for, would you say? Uh, pretty long time. Uh, if I run, if I run through your entire camp and drop it in about the middle. Okay. Well, uh, you. Okay. How how wide is it to get from one end of their camp to the other end? In, in uh, miles. How many miles? Yeah. Uh, probably like five miles from one side of the camp to the other. Okay, I'm gonna run it out there for about. I'm gonna run it out there for about two minutes of running while spraying it everywhere, and then okay. I'm going to so, drop it and run back. Okay, uh, so as, as you might imagine, uh, uh, the the spray of water causes uh, quite the commotion, um, and. Uh, uh, they they can't catch up to you, but uh, there, there's a there's a, a, a couple of hundred couple hundred uh, angry uh, uh, halflings on your heels. Okay. Oh great! I, I provoke no opportunity attacks. Sure. Yeah. And then as I'm running, I'm going to cast levitate and jump, and I float off into the sky. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, when they, uh, okay, so you're you're levitating up rather than uh, uh, running at a million miles an hour. Uh, no, so. I'm still running, but m my motion keeps going. Levitate wouldn't stop my current motion. Uh, I think it does. I'm pretty sure it just. Uh, no, as long as you have something to push off of, your levitate can allow you to continue to move in the direction you're going. Sure. Uh, what are you pushing off of? The I mean, ground. At the ground, I'm moving at 37.5 miles per hour. 
Yeah, but I, I thought you're, you you can't push off the ground if you're levitating up. Mm. I think he's jumping from tree to tree. In this scenario. There, there no. are no trees. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to run to the edge. Planes. I'm just going to keep falling. running to the edge and freezing the water. Well, actually, I can't freeze the water behind me as I go yet. Not yet. Mm. So as a general question, uh, Corsell, what did you accomplish at all? I threw a decanter of endless water on Kaiser Mode in the middle of them. Caused tons of panic. Yay! I gave him a water park. That's a yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like you actually gave him a vacation. And now, guess uh, what? Their camping site is no longer safe or a good place to be. Guess what they're right next to? A cozy little town. <laughs> I'm not saying you started a war, but it seems pretty damn close to it. Uh, oh, yeah. I, can, I can profit from a war. I'm just following from my character flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm acting on it. Not planning ahead? Is that a character flaw? Yes. Lord help us. Acts with absolutely no discretion and no plan. It's called hold my ale and watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when do we arrive? to see this monster. Well, actually, yeah. when, when would we arrive, and what is he going to be doing in the meantime? Oh, I'm running straight to meet up with you guys, so I'll meet you before you even reach the camp. Yeah. Great. 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 So, as you, guys, uh, as you guys are approaching, you, you see uh, Corsail uh, run back up to you. Completely um, losing his mind laughing. And hey, hey fish boy, good like, to see you. What have you been up to? Ah, nothing. You want to come see? You should totally come see. It'll be funny. You'll like it. I'm not sure I will, but I, we don't really have a choice at this point. <laughs> I think I took care of the problem. Well, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Hey, can you do me a favor? Just, just face me. Keep your back to the rest of the group. Just just come over here and talk to me for a small amount. I want, I want to tell you about something. And I look over to Pan, Pan Ban, and I give him a wink. And I say, I've got, I've got this great story about uh, an elemental similar to your own. And I look back to Pan, Bail, Pan Ban, and I say, do this, come on. <laughs> Detect motive. <laughs> Dang it. Um, useless. You have no... Uh, that doesn't really help me. Okay, uh, I kind of just look sad. Um, you think I was trying to trick you for something, and um, I, I just say let's go and try not try try to stay in the back or put your hands behind your back like we captured you. Okay, would you mind doing that? Yes, actually, I'll I'll act completely captured here. Have some rope. Thank and I you. hand you some rope and I let you tie me up. No, I don't actually tie you up. I let, no, I let, I let you. I let him tie my hands. No, you're 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 tied up, but you're actually you can slip out easily. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I told yeah. you, I'm telling him what I did. Um, I then tie his legs up, and then I give him the mano to carry on the shoulder. Out. Not a good roll. Okay. Um. So yeah, we head towards the camp, I guess. Okay. Uh. And so just to be clear, did you uh. Uh, retain the, the decanter, or did you just leave it? No, oh, it's, it's in the middle of their camp, gushing. They can't turn it off. Only I can turn it off. Okay. I would still not like to go into the camp. I will hang on the outskirts. Well, you just caught the person who fucked with their camp, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk right inside, though, uh, Pat, Pat. You stay out. And if anything happens, just run and, and live your life. Live well for me, your friend, Matthew. <laughs> Thanks, man. I... You know, I, I, I haven't given you enough credit. You do yeah, relatively do. I, I keep saying, you go back to that sergeant back in the town, because she, she's a wild one, and you two are going to live a great life together. <laughs> oh, oh, doom and gloom, you're making me all teary. It's doomsayer, but I like you. I like you, Pan Ben. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> no, I time. put my hand on your shoulder and say, Mathriel, you know, you're all right. I, I tell him, shh, I'm the Lord now, okay? Don't, I'm in character. Don't, don't do this to me. Of course, my Lord. I'm going to the edge of the town. <laughs> uh, of the village, there, camp. Yeah. 
I, I go with them. I, I pretend like uh, Marcus is my bodyguard. Okay. Okay, so who's carrying me right now? Uh, Mano, I believe. If Mano's All right. I, I think my, my character's ready, if you want to introduce me. I don't have any magic. Oh, you're not with us the whole time. Yeah, you're with us the whole time. Oh, okay. Am I? Okay. I'm the quiet guy then, for right now. Yeah. You're Actually, just car I'm you're carrying me you like are. a prisoner right now, so... When it comes down to it, you're going to have to throw me at them. These guys talk enough for all of us, so... Uh, and in terms of magic that. items, uh, you can have a, uh, a single magic item, but it can have uh, two properties. Uh, one of a, a, a rare item, one of an uncommon. Um, and um, let me know which ones I so that I can either uh, approve or disapprove. Yeah, I found this one uh, magic item which is called um, a Holy Avenger. Um, so I just picked that one up. Yeah, no. Oh, I want a Um, Cool. So, uh, yeah, we, we walk into the town. We, we go try to hide. We, we don't have weapons drawn. I am we, hiding. And one of us is hiding. I'm in the woods. I'm not with yeah. you. I'm basically oh, yeah. sitting, okay. sitting, up, sitting up observation post. Okay. So, well, the the grasses are high enough that you that it's you know it, it's possible to hide in them. Um, but you know the again it's open plains. He can hide behind the giants. I want a shovel. You can show me the hold hiding. Mm. Uh, get off my back. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Someone has to fill me uh, in. Rather than a, a on here. Uh, rather than just a couple of outliers, uh, when you get to the camp, there there's uh, uh, a couple hundred uh, uh, halflings uh, mounted on uh, war dogs uh, uh, with spears at the ready, uh, and uh, one amongst them says. What was that? Okay, I'm going to be kicking and screaming on his back, and it's really acting the part. Let me go, you crazy group of people. I'm just Twas trying to get them off my land. Twas an that evil djinn. <laughs> uh, I then hit, um, what's his name? Uh, what kind of AC do you have? Uh oh. My AC is 17. Cool. Well, I, I, hit your, I pat your armor, essentially, with my, with my sword. Yeah. Well, since he's uh, I'm, he's on my shoulder, I'm gonna spank him like a child and tell him to ah, silence. You crazy uh, shit! And by the way, I'm not wearing armor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, either way, I got the four. Um, I I say to him as once again I'm still looking like the Lord or uh, whatever it is. Um, I offer uh, many things, including the one who has done this to you, the Jin. Uh, but I wish to speak to Alias. Ah, unfortunately, she's uh, uh, a bit busy with uh, uh, wedding preparations. Uh, however, uh, wedding preparations. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, her uh, uh, her son. What's his name? Ba ba ba. Sorry. Uh, her son uh, Hugh is being. Uh, uh, is getting married uh, in uh, three days hence. Married um, to whom? <sighs> Speak up, little man. Chandra, of, of the of the Green Hills tribe. Hmm. That's right. You are many tribes. Is there one among you that stands tallest? Wink. <laughs> it's not nice to make fun of their height. I say from the from its back. Let me rephrase that. Is there a great leader among you, a chieftain of the whole horde? That would be Aelis. Um, but uh, her husband, uh, Amran, is available. It, so um, long as you good. can keep control of the, uh, uh, the uh, elemental power. Power. That, that that elemental powers in his hands and legs, as long as they are bound, he will not be able to do anything. However, let me go and tie these ropes. Silence, fool! I hit him again. One d twenty plus two. Uh, fourteen, AC. Nope. No. No. 
Okay. And I try to stab him, but you miss. I miss. There's no need for violence. The, I mean, though it was not presented in the, the best manner. Uh, uh, the, the, half of the gift is appreciated. We uh, There is always a need for water. Now take me to your king. Let's, let's go get on with this. Okay. okay so wait, 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 so they're, the not, they're the... not unhappy with my geyser? I got a question. How is this well, the, uh, it's open plains. It's you know, it's hard to control, but it's endless water. Okay, cool. We're just going to leave that there for a while then. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm doing them a favor. Let's see, how, I didn't ever think it worked out. Half, I want to know how the happens are reacting to the uh, the gold dragon looking guy sit there drooling at the mouth, looking, staring at him. Um, you are uh, getting quite a few stares. Um, Look at my lips. Yeah. But you know, you're <laughs> <laughs> like I got a hungry. I, I, I like I'm looking at him like a cheeseburger. But uh, well, you know, um, the, uh, <laughs> just just the, the the ones that uh, you know rode out to to meet you outnumber you enough that they're they're not scared. No. Well. Oh, I I, I flunked my uh, intimidation roll anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so they're not mad at me? The, they're cautious. They, they, you know, they, uh, uh, they do seem on guard, uh, but, uh, you know, they're, they're still willing, still willing to, uh, converse. Alright, so I'll stay tied up for now, but later on I'm probably just gonna go make a giant bowl and have the water sit in that. Okay. <laughs> can I see well, while I'm sort of uh, out on the sides? Can I try and get a idea of how the camp is laid out? If there's even a structure to it? Um, wouldn't I have seen that from the air? Hmm. Well, did you look? Well, at the air? Uh, yeah. I mean, when you saw it from the air, is from quite a distance. Is yeah, it's true. hard to uh, uh, make out exactly what was going on. Um, as you proceed farther into the camp uh, and come to the uh, uh, approach the, the the top of a uh, not quite a hill but sort of a, just a rise, um, uh, you can see like the more of the the uh, camp as a whole, um, and uh, it, it's not well it's not all that well organized, but it is huge. Um, is there an identifiable center? Um, you're approaching it. <laughs> all right, all right, right. Um, Where's the water thing? Uh, uh, well, they they don't take you uh, uh, by where the, the the water was got geysering, um, but you do see you know uh, uh, off in the distance, uh, you know the. A, a bunch of halflings around a, a, a geyser of water. Are they playing in it? Uh, no. They're, uh, they're learning to control the water as an elemental now. <laughs> they're making them more powerful as we speak. It's just a decanter of endless water just constantly gushes out 30 gallons per 6 seconds. Yeah. But they, they, it seems like they're, they're trying to... Uh, uh, maneuver in a way so that it uh, uh, runs downhill uh, uh, in, uh, in a way that's not going to like wash out the you know parts of the camp and uh, be you know uh, and uh, set it up so that it's uh, useful rather than a nuisance. I actually just pop him off his shoulders now, run over there, pick it up, and cap it, and then. Walk away and say y'all didn't even like my gift, and then walk away and go back and just hop back. Uh, uh, and hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You okay, have to so my, my grip first. Oh, you're gripping me? I thought I was just like slung over your shoulder okay. with my half outside. Okay, yeah. okay, so you you slip the ropes, um, and uh, that does cause uh, an immediate reaction from from the uh, the people walking you. They're uh, um, it looks like they're they're you know ready to attack, but not yet attacking. Are you gonna well, still 
I mean, I'm around. Hold my hand straight as Rose slowly walk towards the water. Uh, I'm gonna dodge that. Dodge his grab. I can. And what? Contest my athletics, I guess. No, he beat you. Oh, he did. (laughs) And I'm gonna hold my hand straight up and say, I mean no harm. I'm just gonna get my bottle. Um, I'm just gonna shake my head uh, like this plan's going to hell quick. Uh, I cough and say, he's free, shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to move, I'm standing there waiting. You, um, I, I'm going okay, to, the, I'm, yeah, I'm going to, to the, push Mathfield down onto the ground, like into a bush. Is that possible? And Mathfield, will, will, you, will you trust me? Oh, uh, Corsell, will you trust me and not resist? Huh? I'm going to push you into a bush. Will you please not resist? Okay, I'll trust you. Cool. Um, I push you into the bush, and I say, go get him, he's in the bush. Um, no, I create a minor illusion, uh, and I say, uh, don't worry, people. He's, I say, this is all a trick. He's actually still in the arms. And then I put my hand through. I make an illusion of you coming back out of the bush, and they put my hand through you and say, he's actually a trick. He's still in his, in his hands. Look. And then I make the illusion appear as if you're still on uh, on Mano's shoulder. Okay. <laughs> Mano looks completely confused at this point. It's like, God. <laughs> Trying to feel him. And I guess, how, has the water come close enough to me that I can touch it, or am I within 30 feet of the water? No. No. No, it, it's... it's uh, they, you know, they weren't... They were leading you towards the center of the camp, not towards the... Uh, not towards your gift. They... Okay. Wait, hold on. I don't think there's actually a range on that. Let me check. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait, hold on. That's in spells. I'm looking in class actions. Spellbook. Um. Yeah. Okay. okay, is it within 120 feet of me? Uh, no, it's more like uh, 500 feet away. 500 feet? Yeah. Well, it was quite the dash you got to make. <sighs> Alright, while in the bush, I'm going to get into running stance, click my boots, and I'm going to run straight up to my thing, grab it. Okay. And run. So you're, okay. So once again, you're uh, uh, grab it, turn it off, uh, close it, and then well, run back to the bush. So that's five, that's like seven turns. Huh? Like uh, so uh, just running and grabbing it and turning away. But this is while I'm still, all still in the bush, I'm preparing to do all this. So. Okay. So you burst forth from the bush and start running, and uh, the you know, the guards say, HALT! Uh, and they, they look like they're about to throw spears. A minor illusion uh, explosion in the sky to distract them. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to accompany the explosion by also shaking the ground as a cantrip. Yes, yes feel free. <laughs> Just uh-huh. shakes the ground. It's elemental attunement. Each of my steps will shake the ground really heavily. Marcus is just sitting, be- sitting okay. back waiting for the fight to start so he can start doing some damage. I shout, I shout out towards the halflings. The gods are clearly angry. We must make this a lot about our fighting. We must make this alliance now. I must speak to the king. And I'm just going to bolt, bolt, bolt towards my water at the same time. So. Okay. Um... I'm going to actually cap it while I'm on my way to it using uh, using my using my little can trip to control water and stuff. So that's not the big version. It's just I'm going to move the cap onto it and say the command. Okay. Uh, so it shuts off. They, and it's gonna so grab they it. don't actually throw spears at you, um, and. Uh, I mean, it seems like there, there's, uh, but they do like uh, uh, make a uh, uh, a loud whistle, 
Mm -hmm. that, that, you know, sounds sort of like a, a, you know, a bird you might find on the plains. Um, mm. And as you approach the uh, uh, the decanter, uh, uh, more and more of the horde seems to like uh, seems to gather. So, uh, 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 so you can turn it off at a distance. Yes, as long as it can, it can hear me say the command word. Okay. Um, uh, so, when you get there, there's uh, uh, quite a ga quite a uh, crowd gathered, um, and uh, you know uh, you can get you you have to like physically start knocking them out of out of the way uh, to get within uh, uh, fifty feet of it. Okay, so at a hundred and twenty feet. Instead of getting past them, I'm going to take the water that's already there, and I'm just going to shape it all and pull it to pull the decanter towards me with a large wave, catch it, and then run back. Okay. Um, shape the flowing river. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you using to, to shape it? We just turn in our fantasies. Uh, and so, uh, and so I'm going to change what, it to, what, to what ice and oh, bring the ice towards me. Like pushing it with an extension of the ice until it just basically comes and lands at my feet. Okay, let me, let me read this real quick. As this is all happening um, on the outside, I hear the screams. I just would like to sign of, sort of silently shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what Matt, Matt was doing right now. He just I can tell me and me and Matt are going to be real good friends. I'm like uh, very chaotic. I really should have <laughs> actually bound his hands. That would have solved yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. The moment you said it, I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah, they uh, they interpret that as an attack. The you know, it's kind of hard not to. Wait, do I do I have my decanter? No, no. I mean, you, you started to, to uh, you, you start uh, casting a spell or making you, you start to cast a spell and, and, and it doesn't you know, it doesn't have a cast time. It's literally if I'm moving, I can do it. it says as an action. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an action, yeah. Okay. I mean, six seconds. Not a spell. Sure. Eh, figured I could just pull it to okay. me with it. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I, I misread that. Uh, as I guess I, maybe I should. As, should I not do all this? Is everyone really No, you okay? should have done it. It's your character. I should have bound okay. you. I would like to shout out, yeah. capture it alive. I emphasize the word it, um, <laughs> and we can gain its powers. Okay. Roll charisma. Um, so the uh, I guess at this point, it, it, since I'm going to be guess... 120 feet of it, I'm just going to make the ice block huge. Okay. 15 foot tall ice block, and it's going to encase the the decanter. Okay. And I'm just going to lay down, <laughs> not move. Okay. So uh, before they they. The nearby halflings realize that you're, uh, you know, surrendering essentially, uh, while you're still, you know, doing the the, the action to, you know, the the, the spell. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, they stab at you a bunch of times. Is that kind of attack of opportunity? No. No. no this, this is you. You took your action before they they did. Now they're okay. they're taking their action. All right. <laughs> Roll the hit. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, I've got the... I just knocked my camera off. <laughs> All right. Well, this is uh, this has been very interesting so far. <laughs> I, 
I'm not a hundred spot up on what's going on. So let's see where I fit in. Yeah, so, awesome. so the only one who's fighting here, if I'm correct, is uh, Corsail. Yeah. yeah. Pretty Good. much. I'm just gonna, everyone I, else is really my character's bad. really dumb. We're not there. Yeah, I really want to make sure, yelling constantly, capture it alive. It's worth money. Or <laughs> rather, you can get powers. Yeah, don't emphasize that. Fun fact, my character has an intelligence of six. Yeah, this is surprise oh, me. Wow. I thought eight was the minimum. Somebody rolled low. Yeah, he just rolled low. I rolled low. Oh, okay. really low. That was my lowest roll, and I was like, ah, I'll just throw intelligence out the window. I don't need to be smart. Okay. I punch stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have a charisma of 18. A dex of 18. A con of 16. So. It goes full retail. <laughs> Never no, I, I, I have really, really high other stats. I just have a 6 for intelligence. I see why they call you whispers, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my voice is made of air, so... Hmm. <laughs> I can't boy, so. so you sound like an old man out of breath all the time. Well, that's what my character sounds like, is he's talking in air. So. <laughs> uh, right, let's, I, I think we're about to find out how many times I get stabbed. Right oh, I totally should have activated my dodge skill before I ran. While I was still in the bush. You'd have to yeah, activate it many times. Huh? It's a. Uh, it's it just a passive dodge. It was a 500 foot run. Oh, I didn't run the full 500 feet. Oh, I ran. I ran 380. I ran. I ran 380 feet at 37.5 miles per hour. So, Ten. Hmm. Uh, so where are we in relation to where Corsair is? Well, Corsair's in the dead middle of this. Well, but where are we in the middle, uh, I think, in relation to this? Because obviously I, I still have this illusion on my shoulder that everyone realizes is fake, so I'm just going to start moving towards Corsair. <laughs> that might not be a good okay, idea. Okay, just, just make the illusion look like it vanished into dust. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, kinda... or mist, mist. Missed. <clears throat> okay, how many of these halflings are staying around me? Over here in the back there. Just curious. Five. Okay. So, uh, from the... Uh, the uh, I reach exactly the, the distance needed. Uh, so from the halflings nearest you, uh, yeah, you take uh, 35 points of damage. Oh, no, 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 I mean... 35 points total? Yeah. All right. Uh, including a, uh, two hits to the head. Ow. Yeah. So how dead are you? I'm not dead at all. Oh, good. Not oh. even a little. In fact, he feels really good. I'm barely bloodied. Okay, I just want to know how many happens are near are just in round Marcus right now. I mean, curious. Um. Well, uh, in the the group that's ex that's uh, escorting you to the center of camp, there there's about two hundred. Okay, I say, any of you like to play cards? <laughs> I got a deck of cards. cards. I, pull them. I pull out my deck of cards and show it to him. You want to play some cards? Is that like dice? Uh, actually, I'm proficient with playing cards. I have proficiency. I'm going to try taking for some money. Uh, seen yeah. cards before. <laughs> But uh, that that isn't uh, that isn't usually uh, played uh, amongst the rock belt. Really, it's a fun game. 
You get two uh, cards and you try to add them up to 21. It's easy. It's simple. An ace is one. Ten, king, jack, the face card. You know, it's easy. Or ten. Just try to add them up to 21. Simple as that. This is not the first time we have tried to teach savages gambling, Marcus. <laughs> Are you going to bring them with fire water as well? We are going to negotiate a trade. And I'm pretty sure we already brought them water. Very good, Whisper. Shout from the ground. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the, uh, uh, fire water is a whole different thing. Well, right. after you meet with Amram, you can, you can, we can show you uh, uh, the uh, traditional uh, game of crap. Nice. I'm not protecting the guys. Let's uh, let's let's meet this uh, king, uh, king over the hill. Okay. So uh, they uh, they take the the rescue the rest of you to meet uh, Amram and they they keep a uh, guard on Corsail. I'm still laying on the ground, right? Okay. Yeah. And the the ones who the stab you back up um, so that they can uh, surround you with a lot more guys with uh, bows. Okay. Um, I'm going to fall asleep. At will, can you do that? I'm going to attempt to. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes and put my hands next to my it's body. Monster, and just right? Yes. Actually, yeah, I can, I can fall asleep at will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to begin to meditate. Yeah, okay. I'm going to begin to meditate. Okay. okay. So who else wants to talk to this lady? Yeah. Uh, if if not the lady, her husband, the king. Yes. And then. And. Okay. Let's throw it. Shall we do a persuasion or intimidate roll? <laughs> I would persuasion. Try I'm. Definitely. What we're gonna do is deception roll. I'm gonna trick them into uh, agreeing into a uh, very powerful alliance, which will involve I'm us having a halfling horde. Silence. Marcus is just gonna or threaten. I'll cut off your tongue. Well, Marcus is just threatening. He's like, you either do what we say, or I'm gonna breathe my fire breath on you and just kill you outright. If you threaten them, I'll cut off your tongue and paint my boat with it. Not before I breathe on you. <laughs> Once it's too hard, it's just too hard. You just laugh. <laughs> if I could have made it to the water, I could have frozen myself over. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, what's 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 the situation like? Okay. Um. So the uh, the guards outside the, the chief's tent, chief's tent, are uh, dressed ceremonially. Uh, but, uh, the spears and swords they have look plenty sharp. Mm. Um, they actually they don't wake you in. They, they uh, uh, one of them, uh, one of the people escorting you, uh, goes into the tent. And a few minutes, a uh, few, few moments later, uh, a middle-aged halfling uh, comes out. Uh, and I've got a. Picture somewhere. There he is. A picture of a half Oh, it's Samwise Gamgee. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I guess that. Uh, and uh, he he nods to you and in, in, uh, uh Waves for some of the escort to, to back up a bit to uh, give you some space to talk. Uh, greetings. Are you, greetings. Are you from Round River? You. Uh, I I am from Round River, and this is Marcus, my squire. And I left. Oh, school. was one of you still uh, uh, the guise of uh, the Baron? And I, I am the Baron. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought the half was saying that. I okay, no, no, no. no. Bail, man. Okay, at this point, when he introduces me, I let rings of smoke just kind of stroll out of my nostrils. He is also my bodyguard. Uh, 
he says, Elagost, uh, why have you returned? You are not welcome here. I have to listen to him. What I have to say. I am <laughs> very aware. I have come in order to strike a peace between our two peoples. I am going to roll You're in. Too late for that. I rolled a 26 on intimidation. <laughs> no, no! So, I suggest really you listen to him. This guy. I fuck. He okay, yep. That's a crit. That's a natural crit. That's a deep. That's a natural 20, isn't it? That's, basically, that's a... I'm telling him he's got to listen to what he's got to say, or I'm going to him. Basically, giving him yes. the idea that this is not a good idea not to listen. <laughs> It was a good roll. Uh, his, his yeah, his eyes widen and he uh, uh, backs up and he he waves the guards back over. Yeah. Uh, I, I uh, place my uh, hand on the dragonborn's shoulder and I say, "War is hell. The last thing any of us want is a fight." I'm just trying to get him to listen to it. Oh, no, I know. I'm trying to convince him that we don't want to fight. Okay. Uh, or, or that war in general is just going to be. As a good gesture, I take a step back from the man. As it happens, up on, after after his his confrontation. If you did not want to fight, you uh, you should not have returned. Tell you me, uh, Am- by now. Amran, tell me about your your family. Someone of nobility, surely. Has a, has a large, bursting family. Is that another threat? It is not a threat. It is a curiosity, I swear. Hmm. So, I, do you uh, have family? I, I truly do not wish uh, your blood on my hands. But which is which the, is why I am not offering my blood. So I am offering my I am <laughs> offering my so hand, help, sir. Uh, the 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 clan will bear. You you must go now, sir. I am here to op- propose a marriage. A marriage, you, indeed. I wish to merge our clans by blood. He sighs. Uh, then blood it must be. <laughs> no. <laughs> Merging our clan. He, he, and he starts to raise his hand. Uh, and you, you're pretty sure that when he lowers it again, the uh, 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 arrows and spears will be flying. Okay, give uh, me one second as I figure out which spell I have is charm. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just going to kind of step in the way and try make, to make a, a intelligence check. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, dude, I never want to make it. I have a good intelligence check, so I think it needs to be honest and open. By the way, I am doing what I said I'm doing in the gym mm-hmm. while I'm just laying there. Mm-hmm. This is just using my elemental attunement to slowly make hey, what? it beneath me. What is, what is the area of the beneath you? I got a seven intelligence. Okay, what is his, What is the area within this? Uh, are we inside the enclosure or are we just standing outside the enclosure? Uh, you're outside of his tent. Okay. And so he's they're standing in the doorway, right? What? He's standing in the doorway, right? Uh, he's standing just outside of it, yeah. Oh, so I can just breathe and catch him and his tent on fire. Okay, I got it. If something goes down, I hear, I see one sign. As soon as I see someone's fear or one arrow, I'm breathing straight on him. <laughs> I, okay. look, I look to the guy that and I my, say, my, you that really my, don't uh, want to do that. No, no, no. That, I'm saying this is my... No, not you. Opinion. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at um, the halfling saying that you don't is, want to lower your hand. Okay, that is my prepared That's reaction to any, any hostile I can take okay. out. Um, yeah, I guess the... Seven... Uh, I don't think anyone would willingly just give up their life knowing that if he, he does that, he's going to immediately die. I mean, this guy might uh, be insane. Like think me. of your children well, I mean, in uh, you're, you're You're pretty sure that, uh, you know, at least a couple hundred uh, 
halflings are going to be able to uh, uh, shoot you before uh, you can react. Like, you know, another, you know, three quarters w uh, won't be able to react in time, but but plenty will. Well, challenge him to a 1v1. I would, 1v1 man would maybe. step up and say to the halfling, so if we wanted a war, we would have came with more than just a handful of men. Well, and just one dragon. And also a crazy yeah. elemental. Listen to what my steward has to say. It's like, we have come and, here and to offer terms of you were, You've been banished for the, from the camp. You're no longer welcome here. I came here in special circumstances. Is this where you say, oh, fuck it, and you switch back to your normal form? No, no. Yeah, yeah. No. He's committing this role now. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to extend my hand in a handshaking motion and say, let's, so. let's just make this happen. We need the team up here. Accept my hand. And no one has to die. It's not, it's not no one has, yeah, and, and, and no blood will be shed on either side. War is hell. Wait, why don't we just let them come into the town and build buildings and... You should have well persuasion. Uh, against my better judgment, <coughs> uh, I'll give you one last opportunity to, to leave under your own power. Leave under your own power. Am, am I at least invited to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> To your sons. Is, is that a no? <laughs> is that a no? Is it? Are you are you copying me? <laughs> right. The the matter at hand is not the wedding. It, it's uh oh. Uh, whether or not uh, 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 it is whether or not you shall leave. Perhaps we should talk inside, just briefly, just for a moment, and then I'll and then I can leave with peace, having had said what I had to say. Does that not sound fair to you? I only uh, ask for a minute. If I last over a minute, I will allow your guard to murder me and take my kingdom. All I require is a minute. He, uh, he gives a significant look to uh, to the guards and uh, uh, turns to enter the tent. Uh, you have the feeling that uh, it's he's not uh, entering the the tent to uh, go talk with you. Okay, I attempt to follow him through. Okay. Uh, uh, initiative. Ah, initiative. Actually, I had a prepared action. Okay, how, how far away is the rest of the group? You have a prepared action. Um, wow. About, uh, uh, they're, they're still about 500 feet away. 500 feet? Okay, um... I'm gonna... How long have they been talking? Yeah. Five, maybe ten minutes. Okay, so that's plenty of time. I definitely have my 10-foot hole in, in about, about 15 to 20 feet towards them underground uh, dugout. If you read my message of what I was doing, I was uh, using elemental attunement to slowly dig a hole beneath me without making any... any without letting them know. Yeah, oh, okay. So I'm just going to drop. I'm just going to open up the earth directly below me and then immediately close it back and drop straight down. Okay. So I take a I take a fifteen foot or no ten foot drop. Yeah, ten foot drop. Does that cause fall damage? Yes, it does. Um, you're a monk. You're prepared for it. I'll, I'll oh, say yeah. no. 
Yeah, I, well, yeah I'm a monk. I don't take fall damage. Okay. Um, five times my level, so I don't take 40 fall damage. Uh, uh, the end of the and then I close, I close the earth above me and, and seal, it, seal it shut. So I just disappear from these people. <laughs> poof. Okay. I'm also going to accompany it with, can, a, with a, a poof asking? mist effect. Token to click on so I roll my initiative. Uh, what is the thing to click on? My token. I don't care. He needs to roll yeah. initiative. I just rolled manually, essentially. Uh, I, I'm, I, uh, oh, okay. Where am I talking at? Okay. Um, it's on the other page, but I'll, I put my token back on there again. A new one. I have to. Hey, uh, DM. Uh-huh. Uh, for my rare item, I don't know if you approved it or not, but I picked the uh, Belt of Dwarven Kind. Okay. I... I think that's okay. Yeah, it's on page 155 of DMG. I read it. It's a rare wonder item. Yeah, it's rare. Okay, and I just drop underground. And I accompany it with a poof mist effect. So it looks like it just dissipated into mist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Belt of Dwarven kind of fine. Oh, right. So that is my one magic item. Okay. Mm. Okay, and... I'm going to... Let me... Let me do some initiative rolls. Alright, I'm going to... Uh, yeah. Put my stuff on here. <laughs> I can't sleep. I can't sleep myself down either. Oh well. He can shrink you. Yeah. Now I can take my token and roll this. Uh, uh, oh, do you, you want to add yourself? Y'all want to add yourself to the to the pet, to the map? Uh, just uh, open your bio and info and drag your picture to the screen, to the map. Yep. That's so all you gotta do is add, add yourself. Where's the king in the scenario? There you go. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, I got cool. from, from on there. There, I got a 20. Cool. I just picked the first Goliath picture I found. Oh, cool. <laughs> now, you're not taller Which than I do me. happen to care. You're only five foot taller than me, so five inches taller than me, so I, I need to... You get bigger, you need to get smaller. Uh, I want to get smaller. I don't want it to be like a giant picture. Yeah, I know. He should be able, he should be able to give us... Use a, just use a token style. instead of a picture. Yeah, I can't shrink it. Like, go get a small token instead of a picture, just a smaller image size. Mm. Yeah, there you go. The DM can shrink it. Oh. Uh, I had that pretty circular one on the other map, but he didn't bring it over, so... Uh, let me... Uh, let me do that. Then you can just delete the one I put on there. I'm just going to test out a macro real quick, or dispel macros. Ooh. I know you can make tokens like that. Yep. That's a neat thing. Yeah. Okay, if that's so, so can I actually upload my actual picture then? <laughs> yeah. Well, it... it it takes a little while to make it. Uh, okay, there's my there's my real token. So go ahead. Let's see if I can delete it. I can't okay. delete it. Right now. There you go. Yeah, I'm I'm perfectly fine with with my square dude. I can't put my token oh. in now. Oh. 
I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, allow me to give me information. Yep. Working on it. All right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in this company of madness. I'm still on the outside of camp trying to. All right, I'm moving now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where's the king in this in this scenario? Um, we were just talking. It must be with him. Yeah. Oh, that's right here. Yeah. One wrong one. Uh, one I had to do this. Okay. And move through that. So I guess I'm way farther away than what I thought. Move that. Right here. And save. There we go. I got my life bar above me. My dream room. That's how many hit points I got. Yep. Oh yeah, you can link that to our actual HP on our character sheet. Yeah. Yeah, that just takes time. I just like to do it. It just has a drop down menu next to it. Yeah, I put my HP in the green and my AC in the blue. That's what I did. Red, uh, actually, so the red one, I usually put my passive passive uh, perception in the red one. The red's supposed to be health, though. Uh, no, yeah. actually, on the, uh, on the, actually, the, oops, the heart no. is like The DM can change the colors if he really wants to. It's not like yeah. a huge concern. I, I just yeah. put the middle one as my HP. So yeah. I got 83 HP right now. Alright, good. Yeah, I'm at 33 HP because I'm damaged. Yeah, well, I, I picked a, a fucking Goliath War Domain Cleric. I have to have a lot of HP. Yeah. I mean, I, normal, I normally have 68, so... That's funny, I'm a sorcerer and I have 50. <laughs> well, I didn't roll for my HP, I just took the, the 5. Oh, um, well, you should, you should definitely have rolled. Because you can take five as a minimum, can't you? No, it's um, either you roll or you take the average plus one. Yeah. All right. I take the average. I roll. I roll decently high. You get your max at first level, and then you take your average plus your uh, con bonus every level after that. I have a really decent con bonus, so... Yeah. Let's, Let's, do do Let's have those go. Okay. So, uh, anybody above initiative 20? Oh, I uh, guess I, I need to roll initiative. I got a 20. If you scroll up, you'll see my 20. Yes. Actually, if you open up the uh, initiative screen button, hit the initiative button on your little items, you open the initiative the box and I'll see everybody in the next Oh, yeah. Friend is kind of a mean thing. Afterwards, he remembers you charmed him. Yeah, but it, it'll be long enough. It'll be long enough for me to get my real plan out. Uh, background skills. Let's go. So, from my so, hidey hole ish type position in the grass, can I see any of this? Or will I at least hear shouts or something? Or should I roll perceptions, maybe? Uh, it, Wait, it's, it, it's kind of too far away to even ha have a chance to. Alright. I had oh. a 20. Yes. Where okay. Is my 20? I don't know, but I, I did see it in the chat. So so uh, go ahead. Yeah, I have a I have a fourteen. I don't know if you know if there was up on there. Okay, I click I click an issue again. You just adjust it.
Now you can just adjust it up to 20. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, you can adjust my initiative to where my original initiative was. Yeah, I guess I could there do that, too. I will do that. Initiative. You tried, and that's what matters. No, I had a 14. I just I needed to get it on the sheet. Right. All right, we are all done our initiative goal, right? And nine? I'm just testing this macro out real quick. Okay. I don't think math real is. So I had a prepared action already. <laughs> you were gonna. You, you want to breathe fire on uh, the guy in uh, the tent? Yep. Okay. Hit my macro for that. Nice double. Uh, there it is. Cast. Oh, I did six damage. Oh, well. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I reached by the tent, but the tent catches on fire. Yeah. Fully in blaze. It, it does. Stop being worn or Wait, hit. he walked into his tent, so he's currently inside of his tent. He's in a flaming tent. Plus he had Well, he was blade. he was turning to walk in. Um but he still has to make a DC uh save. Yep. Nope. He misses okay. it. Okay. Six damage. Automatically. Yep. Uh he and is, all these goblins just saw all these little happenings just saw me breathe my breath weapon, so Yeah. He yeah, is horribly in fire and screaming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where are his guards? <laughs> oh, they're all around. Well the, all the happens just saw the dragon breathe a breath weapon, so that might intimidate him a little bit. Well Okay. Um, it's, it's not, not as much as action. Just them off this. we just killed their king. Or attack their king. Yeah. Yeah. I guess since I see him breathe his fire, I would use my thermatology thirty to yell, and the war has begun. <laughs> <laughs> that ta that takes an action. Oh no! no it takes an action. Really. They don't take an I, action. I, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well, I was trying to use the voice boom effect to make it three times louder. Ah. But well, that's really cool. It's just for flavor. No, it should totally happen. Everyone hears you, and now everyone's going to attack you. So, do, can I? How big is this boom? Ooh! I'm sorry? W would I be able to hear the voice boom of the war has begun? Or is uh, that even... Sure, make a perception check. All right. I can definitely hear that even though I'm underground. Well, I'm a giant fucking Goliath yelling at the top of my lungs yeah. using thermatology. Mm. I also should get a plus five. Oh, well. Nah, I think that's that. Yeah. Okay, how far is it from the camp to the town? Mm. From the camp to the uh, to where you are? Yeah. Uh, about 500 feet. No, no, they camp to the town. Like oh, oh, um, uh, about 10 miles, uh, mm -hmm. 3 miles. 3 miles, okay, 3 miles is, is much more reasonable. Alright, so I got a 20 more. Yeah. Okay. So that was my action pre-initiative, so now it's initiative. Wait, so... I rolled roll 20 on perception, so did I hear it or God? Um, sure. You, you should be able to see it. The flames are probably roaring now that I can't. No, you yeah, can't see it. Oh. Um. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm, actually, I'm not going to call that a pre different act. Pre initiative action, I'm going to call that part of the regular initiative order because, I mean, the situa 
situation was tense. Nobody's surprised. Okay, that's fine. So I took my action. Okay. Uh, your uh, <coughs> your AC is uh, seventeen or fifteen. Two. Mine is fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Without armor. <laughs> okay. It's got really quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah, waiting on that. I'm pretty sure y'all are all gonna die. I know. Yeah, we've got plans. Don't worry. I will use those two as a human shield and then just teleport out. Yeah. My plan is to grab the the, the halfling. The on fire halfling. Out. Make sure to put him out first. Yeah. I actually have a spec so far. Seventeen four. What is the maximum run speed multiplier? Like, the fastest possible a person can run. I know, like, a regular run is times three. Uh, and that you can run faster than that. I will if I know. Um, I'm going to look in the... I'm looking in the handbook right now. I just can't find anything about it. Uh, the fastest... The fast, the single thing that I know in the handbook is a Phantom Steed, which runs at 100... Feet per, per no, I, I, per I'm asking, like, you know how you can run for three times your movement? You take run as an action. It's twice the movement, not three times. Oh. No, there's, there's a version that's heavier than that, or higher than that. That's what I know. The, if you can find it, let me know, because I've read the PHP, I think, I like, 20 times and I don't know. I think you're thinking much. of a rogue using dash twice, which isn't something to do. Oh, yeah, no, that's what it was. It was dash. That, yeah. That's the thing. And yeah, the, I, ha yeah I, have to activate, I have to activate one of my yeah. other key points to use that. Yeah, you're thinking of dash and cunning action or your key action and then yeah. dash. That's what you talk about three times. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I was doing earlier when at full speed. That's like my max speed. Because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to run back to the town and get help. Although it'll take a while to get here. No, do I, I'll, I can just teleport to the town and be like, hey, maybe she get your weapons ready. Okay. Uh, can you get multiple people with your teleport? Uh, Dennis? Um, I can bring any one yeah. person with me. Make, uh, make two con saves. Two con saves? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Bring the heavier guy with you. 22. Good. And a 15. Just good enough. Okay, you're not dead. All right. Uh, you're, you're just uh, unconscious, and there are a bunch of arrows sticking out of you. Uh, I think 10, something like that. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Shiny scales, no. Uh, uh, and I see a, a light peppering for everybody else. Uh, Mathrio, what's what's your AC? Uh, about sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. I'm at zero. <laughs> okay. I thought you know what I thought about taking a. Uh, Heavy armor mastery. We reduced a lot of damage right now. We're gonna yeah, multiple small times. I'm glad I'm not currently in a spot where they know where I am. I can teleport to <laughs> you and then teleport you in the middle. I would prefer if you'd not do that because I have a plan to save you guys. No, oh, God, no. I have a plan to save you guys. I have a plan to save you guys. Yeah. 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 The rogue has a plan to save you guys. My plan is to be a distraction while he saves you guys. If, if you get a chance, uh, run to where you saw me before. And uh, uh, Matthew, you take uh, uh, thirty-one. Oh yeah. 
Oh, wow. Um, it's through when I say it. <coughs> so they 50 points of dam- over 50 points of damage from this. Yes. Oh, wow. Well over. Well over. Was it 100? No. Okay. <laughs> I do wonder, because you made me do con saves. I'm like, okay. Can you put me into the initiative order? I'm not on there. I got a four. Oh, man. You're right before all the guards. Didn't take much to take out the dragon, did it? <laughs> uh, that was you, Spencer? What? Oh, no. Who needed that into the initiative order? Convin. Oh. No, no, no. I am... I'm fine. I am not near you guys. I <laughs> heard the war is begun, and I thought to myself, hmm. We no, no, I didn't think anything. My hand just went instantly to my forehead. So, you know, no, I was not the cause of this. Oh. I did not fuck up enough to make them all hate us. I assume it's you or, uh, or you know, I not say his name, but a certain someone who impersonates people. <laughs> this time it was um, it was not me. It was actually, it was actually so uh Pan Ben, what is uh your uh AC? What I'm being attacked? Yeah, you're all being attacked. Yeah, we we I'm, were given I'm a chance. The camp, though. Don't matter. No. I didn't go in. I didn't want to get Yeah, he never came in. Oh okay, I I'm sorry I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, no yeah. problem. Okay. And um, uh, my AC okay, is so twenty, that's... and yeah, my AC is twenty. Okay. Twenty, and I'm assuming I'm gonna get hit a lot, so I'm gonna do this and resist fourteen points of damage on top okay. of that. I have a turn. Yeah, twenty. Wow. Y'all are gonna die. No, we're gonna be fine. Oh, Always you really think so? I'm pretty positive. I'm a magic user baby. Magic user baby, what? But isn't one of you knocked unconscious? Um, yeah, I mean, oh, the, yeah. Guy beside, the guy beside him is a healer. Okay. Yeah, the dragon went down okay. hard. Uh, so, uh, Mano, you only take two. Two points of damage. Yes. All right. <laughs> How many arrows hit him? Through the through the stone's endurance. Uh, and that was from two arrows. Okay. You have a decent armor class, so... Yeah, 20 AC, and I have 81 HP feet left. All right, let's All right. do this. Okay. So, uh... uh Corsail, you are uh, safely Deep entombed. Around. Yes, I entombed myself. Also, I never run out of oxygen because I can breathe my own air. Okay. Gross. That's a passive. That's a racial passive. I can breathe okay. my own air. So, uh, are you uh, uh, doing anything right now? Huh? No. Uh, passing turn. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to keep digging outwards towards the uh, um, this direction. I'm going to keep digging this way. Okay. So, I mean, it'll take me a while. I get, like, one foot of cube her turn, but... You're underground? Yeah, I'm underground. I'm ten feet underground. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I sealed it up behind me. I mean, I already have, like, five feet dug, but I'm, I'm not moving that way yet. Wow. It's just because that's how long a uh, time I had while you, while you were doing your thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Rosh isn't here, right? I, uh, I'm Rosh. Uh, that's, I renamed my character. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Much better like this. Okay. Rosh was too weeaboo. I like course, yeah, sounds good. I have no clue what the hell weeaboo means. Uh, uh, white uh can't so, uh, uh Manu, you're up next. It's All a right. white kid trying to be Japanese, yeah. Oh. Uh, so you must pull. Well, Mano is going to reach out and try and grab this no, uh, this halfling first. 
Okay. Just hold them uh, in there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to reach out and try and grab them. Uh, athletics, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, and he he's out. He's not resisting. Wait, is he unconscious? Oh, okay. Uh, he seems to be. Sweet, that's perfect. Uh, oh well, if he's, I'm gonna hold him.